One of the questions that I hear a lot from patients who come see me in clinic is about chest pain. Chest pain in their children from young ages of uh, five and six to throughout their teenage years. Well, with this video, what we're really hoping to accomplish is to begin to let families and, and kids themselves know how common chest pain really is in children. And in particular, what we want them to know is it's really less than 1% of the time in children that chest pain has anything to do with their heart. Um, and in fact, for me, when I hear about chest pain, uh, it is most often something not related to the heart, something related to the muscles in the chest wall, uh, or some other uh, less uh, serious condition. I think one of the things about chest pain that makes it difficult for patients and families, um, and for ki kids and families really, is that um, it can be very, very painful. So painful that they're brought to tears, that they can feel short of breath, and then, of course, having chest pain um, makes you worried about your heart because you've seen movies or you've had relatives who've had chest pain as adults and then serious things have happened. And so it's a real pain. Uh, it's a real significant pain. And on top of that, um, it's in a place where people worry something really dreadful is happening. The way that chest pain is described to me most often by kids themselves or their parents who are retelling it is that they describe short, brief periods of chest pain that occur really at random times. It can be with activity or it could also be watching TV or doing their homework or while eating. Often the word that the kids are going to use is stabbing chest pain and it can really be anywhere in the chest uh, but they'll use that sort of stabbing word and then often what they'll tell me is they feel short of breath. Uh, not that, you know, they just feel like it hurts to take a deep breath. The pain part about it, it's not that the pain isn't serious. Of course, it matters a lot that there's a lot of chest pain, but the, the more painful it is, it does not associate with the more likely it's heart-related. And so really, the, the amount of pain for me isn't a, a barometer of how significant or how likely it is to be related to the heart itself. I get told a lot by, this is usually from the parents of younger kids, maybe sort of age 5 to 10, who tell me my child describes their heart hurting. And literally that's the, the words that the, the child is using. And of course that's very alarming. What they really mean is that their chest hurts. And they've learned that their heart sits in the middle of their chest and so they don't make any distinction between their chest muscles and their heart itself. The chest pain age groups, uh, most commonly this is something you see in, in adolescents, uh, sort of 13 to you know 19 year olds. However, chest pain can exist in young children and uh, I've seen it in four and five year olds who have described very clearly to me that their chest is hurting. Um, and while that may be for a reason that's different than why the teenagers have chest pain, um, it is still very unlikely to be heart related. One of the things that I often ask uh, the kids themselves or the parents is about whether the pain can be reproduced by pressure on the chest. And if they come and see me in clinic, I'll reproduce that myself on the physical exam. And really, if you can push on the chest and make the pain worse, you're not pushing on the heart, you're pushing on the, the chest pain muscles, and that is not heart related. And so, you know, whether it's taking a deep breath in, stretching the chest from the inside, or pushing from the outside, if that is bringing up that chest pain, you can feel very confident that it's in the chest muscle and the pain is not from the heart. I think the main features where I get worried again, is that chest pain with activity, certainly anything, uh, chest pain and passing out at the same time, those two together are quite worrisome. I think if the chest pain has been going on for some time and it's very stressful for the kid, it may be helpful to go see your, your local pediatrician or family doctor and get that reassurance that this is actually not related to the heart. Um, but most of the time, I think you can begin to rule it out by uh, noticing that it's these short, brief moments of chest pain that can be reproduced by pushing on the chest. You can begin to feel quite confident that, in fact, this is not heart related. Again, it might be quite painful and it might last for sometimes weeks to months at a time. Um, and that's, that's, of course, difficult um, for the child and for the parent who's worried the entire time. Um, and so again, you know, if, the, if you've been worrying for a long time, go talk to your doctor. But uh, feel comfortable when you're talking to your doctor that you'll be talking about pain from a source other than the heart.